Well, hello everyone, and welcome here to something a bit different. This is Sky Saga. It's uh, a multiplayer game that is um, currently in its alpha stage. It's a touch Minecrafty, which is what originally caught my attention. And it looks quite pretty, to be honest with you. The, 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 the basic premise is that your airship has crashed into this floating island. Yes, it's quite literally a floating island. You'll see there's a few of them floating around. And you're stuck with a few resources. And your job is first of all to repair the airship, which you can then use to, to visit your friends. I don't have any friends. And you also gifted with the ruins of a, a building here which you can clear out and add to and build as you like. I'm probably going to knock all this down if I play the game a bit further. So we set up down here so I've lit this place up a bit with some torches and some braziers and I've built a few devices. You start off with this thing which is a keystone oven. I'll come to that in a bit. And you can make workbenches anvils, forges, and use these things to make other items to go into the houses, like these uh, these paintings here, or all these these chests, which I'm using to store all my ill-gained loot, or leaves, as the case may be. Right, so, as with um, most games of this, this type, they, yeah, there's a crafting system. You can use the anvil, for example, to make weapons and armor. Um, I've currently only made plate mail gloves. The rest of the stuff is the uh, the starting gear. I should actually uh, invest a bit of time in that. And in order to do that, you need to make um, various components. So you need, to, uh, in order to make uh, this this these boots here, you need um, metal plates and metal weights. And metal plates and metal weights are. Here we go. Yep, this is the right one. Made out of ore. I have golden ore. And I don't have much iron ore, but uh, I could actually break these down, I suppose, into ore. Or, you know what? Why not? Let's make ourselves a golden helmet, shall we? So. Metal applies to iron or gold in this version of the alpha, and you can use the the forge here to make the items you want. So let's just confirm the numbers we need here. So we want to make ourselves metal plate mail boots, and we need six metal plates and twelve metal weights. And looking at my inventory, we already have five metal plates, so we need one more of those. And how many was it again? Yep, short term memories turned off today. 12 metal weights. Okay, so let's make metal weights. So, make the metal weights require 12 metal ore and they will make three. So, we select gold. Okay, so that's three, six, nine. And when one of those is done, we'll make another one. And they're just going to chug away and make. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to cut out here and I'm going to cut back in when all the items are done and then we'll make the helmet. Or was it the boots? We'll make the boots. Okay, right, here we are. Um, yeah, I'm glad we cut out at that point because it took a good five minutes for all that to smelt up. But if you look at my inventory now, you'll see that I have eight of these gold plates and 12 of these gold weights. Uh, so I can go to the anvil press E and select the recipe that I want to build. In this case it's armor and as you can see there metal plate mail boots is no longer faded out which is an indication I have the uh, items needed to build it. So I click that and now I've got to select plates and weights to go in and I shall select gold ones because that's what I have. So right click on that makes it appear for the gold weights. Get a tick, that's good. Right pick there makes it appear for the gold plates. I get a tick, that's good, so I can now craft it. It's going to take two and a half minutes to craft, so let's get that going. And that hammers away. Now, while that's going ahead, um, let me talk about the concept of keystones. And you might have noticed this on the side of the building. This is a keystone portal, and by inserting different keystones into this, you can, it will take you to different. Uh, different maps. 
so let's have a quick look at the keystones you you make keystones by harvesting this stuff here this is keystone fragments and there's um, basically red and uh, sorry green and white colored fragments and there's also these red hearts which you can get there as it says it's super rare um, which allows you to make harder quality keystones now the green ones take you to forestry type biomes and I haven't actually tried making a white one yet so what I'm going to suggest here is we're going to grab some of these um, white keystone fragments here and we'll go to the keystone forge and in the keystone oven, sorry, you have a choice of making different types of keystones here, you see. So there's a, a light white keystone, there's a, a white keystone, and there's a dark white keystone. And likewise, there's the same for greens. Now, the light ones are easier, the, the ordinary coloured ones are a bit more of a challenge, and the dark ones are a bit harder. So just for today, what we're going to do is we're going to make a light white keystone, which requires three keystone fragments so we stick those in and set it off to craft the same as we do our boots and the animation there isn't actually that bad is it it's quite nice it has a touch of companion cube to it mm. right so we'll put those back we don't need those anymore uh, put those back in the right place because I'm a neat freak and we'll do the same I think we've got a little bit of yep stick those metal plates in there because we don't need those just yet so we've got two things uh, working away here, they'll be done in about 60 seconds, so let's take the time to have a look around this place, shall we? So when I started off in here, this was all blocked up, and there was a load of metal ore here, and as you can see, there's still a load of keystone fragments that need to be mined out of here, broken pillars, basically the place is a complete mess. If you look up at the ceiling there, you can see these patterny things, they are, let yeah, see a bit better with the light, that's, a, that's root wood, so I should really get rid of all that. And likewise, the rest of the area is still a bit of a mess, but I've slowly been clearing it out. I've been doing it slowly because um, actually tidying up is a number of quests, and with the quests you get experience points. And if you get experience points in a certain area, then it helps you uh, make further items. Okay, looks like both of my things are ready and oh we actually did pick up the boots as we walked by so we'll do that in a sec but let's talk about just talk about the uh, the experience quickly so if we press Y there to bring up the chronicle there's uh, skills here so let's, let's select explorer for example now I'm currently ranked zero as an explorer and there's uh, I've got 10 of the 50 experience points to get to the next rank and I can exp um, get experience points by completing these challenges and one of this is hard harvesting 10 candles by smashing furnishings the only thing you can get a candle out I found so far is an actual candle you hit it with your pickaxe and it breaks this you do an awful lot of that in this game and occasionally it gives you a candle and one in my case once it's given me a candle harvest 15 wolf pelts I've got 10 of those already and harvest 10 ice voxels so we're going to be looking for ice blocks and if I get 10 of those it gives me five experience points so as you can see, it's, uh, it's going to take a little bit of a while to get up there, but it's entirely possible by doing jobs. So if we select the, uh, a quest like that, it appears up in the corner here. So I currently have as my selected quests Harvest Metal Ore to make bolts and Harvest 10 Ice Voxels. And both of those can be done um, you know, in this world or in the adventure worlds. And uh, what I do is I, I tend to pick um, the quest based upon where I am so when we go through I'll have a look at our quests and see if any of them are pickable but in the meantime first of all let's pick up that white keystone there we go and also let's equip our boots um, unfortunately there's no real statistics based upon whether or not some set of boots are better than another set of boots but I'm willing to bet that they are these are these are golden metal as opposed to blue fabric so and you know don't we look great wearing them as well? Uh, can we turn that around? There we go, right. This is our guy armed with a pickaxe and his golden boots and a torch and switch his weapon which is a golden sword and I've also got a pine bow for him. So right, 
Let's go adventure, shall we? So I need to get this light white keystone into one of my keyboard slots and go over here and just insert and we get this nice opening up graphic. Spinny. And the world opens up. And first glance looks all slowy. So let's see what we get. Which photo is cooler? We'll find out if they ever load. This uh, intro screen, interesting idea, but it's been a terrible impl implementation for what I can see. Yes, uh, quite often the world is loaded before I've had some photographs to vote on, which is a bit silly if you ask me. But right, there you go. Right. And we're through. And we have an ice world, which is not really that surprising, seeing as a green keystone sends you to a forest. A white keystone is going to send you through to an ice biome and which is good because we want some ice voxels what's this stuff let's dig some of this out that's snow because we've had it already so we're looking for ice and it looks like we have a nice hamlet down here and it also looks like we're the first people to come into this area which is interesting actually means Oh, took a bit of damage there. That actually means we have a good chance of getting to um, the chests before anyone else does. And looks like, yep, we're in a bandit village, so let's go and kill some bandits. That's you, sir. Yeah, this is an easy level, so the bandits are not going to be very tough, but uh, there are bosses in here, and those guys can pack a mean punch. But let's go and see what we have here. So we have some items here, which like if it, you hit with your pickaxe and you get stuff for it. So that's I, I, I broke those books and got some paper. Oh, did somebody? Sh yeah, somebody shooting at me. How dare you shoot at me, sir? Have some sword. Have some sword. Taste my sword, sir. Ah. There we go. And breaking just about anything else gives you money, and I found no use whatsoever for money. But here's the chest. Open the chest. Get lots of goodies. So, white sheets. There's the various sheets in the game. Those are a bit hard to come by, but the rest of this looks like we can just pick it up. But let's grab it all for now. So, this is basically the worlds at this point. We go around, we kill things, we smash things. Let's pick up that bow. I will dismantle it later on. And we have got to run around here, Let's fight um, bad guys, bandits, wolves mostly at the moment, and find the exit, which is another portal. And the exit will take us back to our world. That's a rather impressive building for nothing, really, wasn't it? Let's look at it from the outside. The architecture is. I'm getting a bit hurt now. Right, and when you're hurt, you can get make yourself feel better by eating food. So we'll grab some down onto there. And as I'm eating, I'm getting half hearts back. Okay, and half hearts can be turned into full hearts by resting at a campfire. So if we make a campfire here. You need three wood planks, six stone, and a wooden torch. And I just so happen to have all that stuff to hand. Craft that. There we go. Put that into my inventory, uh, into my, my key, my uh, whatever, and then press E to rest. Not uh, E. There we go. And then you see the. Um, lay down and the half hearts turn into full hearts. Job done, rested up. Uh, let's go and have another look at this place because I think there's more to this than meets the eye. Or perhaps not. Right. Um, it's 
Very unusual that I seem to be the only person on here at the moment. It makes a change because normally um, you're on with a few other people running around to see who can get the resources first. But dark green stone. That's a new one. So let's jump up here. Let's see if I can find my way in. Yeah. Yep, there is a room up here, but the room is not used. Okay, right, well, we've had a look. Let's have a more of a run around here and see what we can find. Well, what we did find was a guard who was carrying a pumpkin for some reason. And there's another guy over there, so let's run up to him and give him what's for. Archer. Um, yep, yeah, you can't escape from me. See what I mean? I think he objected us to killing his mate. Oh, I don't know. So, okay, yeah, the combat looks a bit simple, but that's because I'm at a low level. I've actually got quite a good sword, so. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's fairly inventive and oh, look, fountain. Uh, or is it? Is it no, this is a little well. Oh, it's a well in the middle there. It's, no, nothing in there. Okay. So let's have a look at the rest of these houses. There's some more bandit fighters over there. Let's go and happen to them. Fighting two is not a good idea, so let's back away a little bit. Like that. And then one of them. Actually, let's switch to our bow. Cowardice is the better part of Valor. Except for when you pick up one of his mates. No, I'm actually getting a bit hurt here, so I think backing away from this is not a bad idea. Have that in the face, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't run away from me. If anyone's going to be a coward around here, it's me and me alone, I tell you. Right. So, let's pick up the stuff that these guys have dropped. And the torch there. Shoot him in the back like the brave person we are. And I think we're probably going to have to eat up and make another campfire here. But that's no great thing. In fact, let's do that right now, shall we? In fact, well, let's just see if that other campfire is still burning. It probably isn't at this point, but one can see. Okay, that's pretty much the, the game as it is now. It's a bit basic, but it's actually, I think, quite pretty. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out now and I'm going to play for a little bit and I'm going to take you back uh, when and if I find the boss and the exit and you can see that and then we'll uh, call it a game for a, a day from there. Okay, so I'll see you in a bit. Well, after I kill this guy. Looks like we've found the exit. And looks like that is the boss. So we're healed up we got our trusty sword with us in fact let's have our trusty shield with us as well instead of uh, torches because it's plenty lit up here let's see how we do bandit berserker ooh he's asleep sneaky 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 oh no it teleported me out. <laughs> oh dear. So we didn't get as much out of that as we wanted, but still. Okay, so we're out. We spent 12 minutes in there. 
and we're back. We we gathered thirty two resources, eleven equipment, two treasure chests. That was I, I feel really quite. I feel really quite robbed because you know we had that uh, uh, that guy there, but we were fighting him too close to the portal. Still, can't be helped. And we're back in our house. We've picked up some resources, not a huge amount, but some. A bit of iron ore, which is nice. Some torches. We've also got some bits and pieces that I don't want here. So what we can do with those is we can dismantle them. So we can take that apart. And we have, if we take this bow apart, we have a 100% chance of getting a pine rod, which is works for me. Like that. And we can do the same with this torch here. Uh, or not, as the case may be. Apparently we can't dismantle torches. Can we dismantle candles? No, this item cannot be dismantled. But there you have it. That's the basic bits. We can actually take these rods. No, that's... Yes, can we do it with ones? Nope, not with wood ones, but if you have a metal rod you can dismantle it and you can get the ingot back. So there you go, that is Sky Saga, it's still in alpha, it's a touch basic, but I'm thinking it's very very pretty and it's got an awful lot of potential. So I'm hoping that uh, this is going to come on and on and on and perhaps uh, as it's getting better I might have the urge to play this world as a let's play say perhaps with some friends because it is a multiplayer game after all but for now i think that's enough this has been a, a, a quick first taste of this game please let me know what you think until then i've been simon parsons this has been sky saga thank you and good night